Meg 2 is officially the most disappointing film for me in 2023. It's not because I thought it was going to be a masterclass in filmmaking and acting and action as, and I, or be like a greatly scripted film with great dialogue. I expected a fun, campy, balls-of-the-wall shark action film with Jason Statham doing some crazy stuff to kill these sharks, which a little bit of that is in there. But it just wasn't enough. I was just so shocked based on this cool ass trailer that we got. I thought we were going to get something that was balls to the walls. But let me get into the premise first. Jonas Taylor leads a research team on an exploratory dive into the deepest depths of the ocean. Their voyage spirals into chaos when a malevolent mining operation threatens their mission and forces them into a high stakes battle for survival. Pitted against colossal prehistoric sharks and relentless environmental plunders, they must outrun, outsmart, and outswim their merciless predators. This movie is two hours, and it's a movie of two halves. The second half of this film is what I wanted from the whole film. A rambunctious, balls to the walls, outrageous action film where sharks eat innocent people, innocent bystanders that are too stupid to get out of the water. Jason Statham team, you know, Jonas Taylor is his character name, do badass things and cool things and funny things to outsmart and defeat the sharks. And we just go on an all out war with these giant sharks going crazy. And we have these humans overcoming the odds in the most campiest way. And that's what we got. It was really, really fun. There was some really good <laughs> moments throughout that were really, really funny. We even got some surprises with other stuff that wasn't sharks that didn't show in the trailer and you know the bad guys got ripped apart it was just so fun in that second half of the film maybe even later half into the second half of the film those last 20 to 30 minutes of this two hour film is where all the stuff that they promised like when you watch that trailer that came out which got me excited for this movie because i wanted something dumb and fun uh fast and furious for the the, the the shark franchise with high production values nothing like cocaine shark which is like really badly rendered and really terribly produced but something that was well produced but just fun and dumb we didn't get enough of that and i was really really surprised that we didn't get this throughout the whole film but when we did get it a big smile was on my face we was having a lot of fun i could hear the crowd getting into the film and how fun it was and a part of why the movie because it has to have some stakes as well you have to fear for the character's life a little bit was Jason Statham, obviously awesome, total badass, he's a great lead, always will be, I trust him when he's leading a movie, and he showed a little bit more range in terms of emotional depth that he usually shows in his films, just for him, I'm not saying he's like on another level or anything, but like for him, for what he's usually asked to do, he did a little bit more here, and I, think I really enjoyed that, but the person that plays his daughter, Mei Ying, she was the heart of the story. She's the heart of the movie. And I really, really liked her. She brought some levity to a lot of moments. She was fearful at the right times. It made sense because she's a kid and she's in this dangerous situation. She had a lot of heart where she showed that she's like her father and going to try to save people even though she's not supposed to. And I just really liked her character and how she bounced off of Jason Thaisdom. That was like one of the highlights other than the crazy action in the later half of the film that kept me engaged because I wanted to see their relationship build and how she gets more involved in the action so those two things are what really held up the film for me the crazy shark action in the first half <laughs> some of the scenes that were in the trailer just being executed and being really fun jason statham going on a school a, a water scooter and using these made bombs that he made up and trying to kill these megalodons and then also they had like a little side story there with one of the, the people on his team trying to connect with a megalodon that they were raising from the first movie. And I thought that was really interesting. And the way that it started out and the way that it ended, I was like, okay, there's something there. Well, uh, that's it for the good. Let's get into the bad. First half of this film is a jumble mess of tones and stories and plot points and pacing that is just really, really weird and made this movie feel a lot longer and was a lot longer than it needed to be. This movie should not have been two hours. It should have been an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30 minutes max, maybe push to an hour and 40 if you really want to do it. But they try to do this like family drama, these, these people who are ocean friendly and trying to save the ocean story plot point and i and i was sitting there like okay this is what this movie's about this is this is going to be some environmental stuff going on but the fact that none of that stuff comes back in that second half and it is just the 
balls to the walls craziness. It just felt like I was watching that for no reason. What what was the point of all that being set up if that's not what the end of the movie was going to be about? And there's a part where they go into the trench. You know, that's the whole, you know, name of the movie, which also like is not in the latter half of the film either. And it was just dark and you couldn't really see anything. So when the action was happening, I couldn't really see what was going on. And it just didn't make me care about the, the stakes because I couldn't tell what was happening. And it felt like it was trying to turn into this horror movie that felt harrowing and scary. And there were points throughout there that where I felt fear for the, the people there, you know, and everybody made it out alive out of the trench. So parts of it were decent, but for overall, for what we got and how it ended, I just felt really greatly disappointed because it felt like it was taking itself so seriously and I came for like a corny, campy, fun time and it didn't execute the horror or the scariness in a way that was innovative or exciting. It was just really plain and mundane. So that first hour, I was kind of bored until we got out of the trench, which is sad because the movie's called Mag 2 The Trench, so that's supposed to be the, the selling point. Also, a major problem is that there's some twists and turns in the story, especially in the first half that happened, and it's so telegraphed, so heavy, like you see it coming before they reveal it to you, and you're sitting there like, why did I took so long to reveal this? Why are you stretching this out to make this movie two hours? I don't understand why you feel like this movie has to be two hours to stretch out these plot points. Because, <laughs> like, I can I know who is the traitor. I know who's behind everything, like, way before you're telling me. And when they finally revealed it, it was just revealed in such an anticlimactic way. If you're going to telegraph who the traitor is, you have to also make it like an epic way when they do the betrayal and it, it just just felt really anticlimactic in those moments unfortunately and even though i did enjoy the second half with the comedy the action and everything like that it didn't go as crazy as i thought it was gonna be because when this action started it just focused so much on the humans and humans versus humans instead of just focusing on the prehistoric giant megalodons eating up people and how the humans can tackle it. And that was really disappointing because the evil characters, the antagonists, were not that interesting. They were just the typical corporate shills, typical assassin, typical um, femme fatale. Like, it was just all stereotypical stuff that you see in tons of run-of-the-mill movies and they didn't, the, the actors didn't get a chance to camp it up a lot there was two actors that were tr doing a good job of just being really campy throughout in spurts but they weren't the main characters so we didn't get a lot of them in the film so it just felt like it was so disjointed and they didn't really understand what the assignment was i i I could be wrong. They could have been trying to make the film that they wanted where it was part campy, part serious, but I feel like the way they advertised the film, it was supposed to be a campy good time. Despite my many qualms with this film, <laughs> had a lot of enjoyment. That's why this movie is not terrible to me. I see a lot of people, you know, it got 0% on Rotten Tomato, and now it's at like a 28%. I see a lot of people trashing the film like it's the most god-awful thing they've ever seen in the, you know, in the world, and I knew what I was going into like i didn't expect something with like really strong dialogue even though some stuff made me roll my eyes i didn't expect anything with you know real strong emotional through line even though i did like jason statham and his daughters uh may ying's um chemistry together and, and her chemistry with her uncle just her with everybody she was just really great in the film i knew i was going into a dumb shark movie but i didn't expect them to take the first half of the dumb shark movie so seriously so with that said I'm going to give my biggest disappointment for 2023 a C. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What would you rate Meg to the trend? Did you think it was the best shark movie we have gotten this year? Because we've gotten like four of them, a lot of low budget ones. Or did you think it was the bottom of the bottom because it had such high production values but didn't do much with it? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Like the video, get this video popping. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can notify my reviews, reactions, live discussions, and join this growing community. You can watch more of my content right now.